Hello everyone. Uh, today we will going to discuss about the uh, rolling contact bearings. Okay. So I will share the PPT. I will discuss. So we know that uh, normally uh, bearing we are using in a day to day life uh, with a, with a different application uh, where the bearing is uh, normally used to reduce the friction uh, in between two rotating parts. Okay, so it have another uh, use also that is to provide a support for the rotating element or you can say provide the support to shaft okay how we will discuss it so mainly as i said the basic function of the bearing is that uh, if you consider any rotating shaft it has a basic function or main function to transmit from uh, power from one end to another end of the line and it needs a good support to ensure the basic stability and the frictionless rotation the support of the shaft is known as a bearing okay as i said the bearing has two basic functions that first it has to uh, reduce the friction or you can say directly the frictionless rotation can be occurred in between two meeting rotating parts okay and second when is to give the support to the shaft okay uh, in other words you can say bearing permits a relative motion between two machine uh, between two machine members while minimize the frictional resistance jab do part matlab for example if you can say uh, a rotating wheel or you can say a gear uh, if it is directly mounted over the sh uh, shaft it can be rotated with the help of uh, uh, with the help of or uh, it is directly uh, connected with the help of keys key joint okay but in few cases the uh, there is a possibility that that gear is mounted at the uh, for installing uh, installing that gear we need to provide two supports okay jis shaft pe wo jo gear hum log mount karne wale hai uske end mein hame support chahiye so there what we are uh, applying we are providing a bearing pair okay to ek end mein jo bearing rahega similarly hum log dusre end mein bhi lagate hain so usse kya ho jata hai shaft ka properly or you can say gear ka proper rotation hota hai that is a rotary motion hota hai and uh, that bearing gives the proper support to the in point of view okay so here there are different type of bearings which we can use for different application okay so initially hum log uh, abhi kaun sa bearing jo when whenever we are mounting bearing over the shaft so at that time we are using two different type of uh, feeds that is a running feed or you can say a press feed okay all bearings are provided some lubrication arrangement to reduce the friction between the shaft and bearing uh, we normally use a uh, grease or oil for lubrication purpose so it can reduce the uh, friction in between inner rest then rolling element and outer rest okay so that lubrication should be there uh, another uh use of the lubrication is to transfer uh, carry out the heat whenever the friction is occur at that times so heat is normally generated and that heat should be carried out from the member to the outer side so that if it is get increase then the uh stability or you can say the strength of the bearing gets reduced okay and to avoid that we need to provide some lubrication arrangement second the hold or location or you can say locate and the guide to the shaft or moving parts yes uh, it can hold as i previously mentioned jab hum log shaft uh, gear with respect to the shaft hum log jab mounting karenge at that time the holding or guiding also uh, done with the help of bearing 
then last one is a smooth and friction motion to save the power yes if the friction get increases the power consumption or you can say power loss get increases okay so we need to save the power and transmit it from to the input shaft to the uh, uh, at the end where the uh, where, where the power need to be transferred for example a machine tool be there if any rotating uh, generator or any other members are there so the whatever the power loss in between the transmission that should be minimized with the help of these uh, bearings now the basic classification so the uh, there are two uh, basic uh, general bearings are there and a frictional bearing and the frictional bearing where the friction gate occurred okay where the metal to metal contact is occurred at the starting condition that is called as a friction bearing and where the continuous or you can say uh, the shaft and the wheel it doesn't in a uh, in they are not in a contact each and every time uh, they are never uh, come in contact so that is called as anti-friction where the friction is totally eliminated but uh, there yes there is a, a depend upon type of uh, rolling element in between these two will decide the quality or you can say amount of the friction but normally that friction uh, is generally uh, negligible so in anti-friction bearing there is a ball bearing and roller contact bearing in ball bearing a deep groove bearing a deep groove ball bearing angular contact ball bearing and filling notch ball bearing in rolling contact there is a cylindrical taper and spherical and needle so these types are generally depending upon the what type of the rolling element which we are placing in between inner and outer race okay so based on that the type of anti-friction bearing get changed uh, in about the frictional bearing uh, in general bearing there are uh, four types first one is a sleeve third uh, second one is a tilting pad third one is a bush type and fourth one is a composite type we will uh, discuss uh, the anti-frictional bearing in this uh, PPT or you can say in this lecture so the basic uh, construction of the rolling contact bearing okay so in above figure we have mentioned uh, the basic components that the first one is a outer uh, ring that is uh, you can also call as a outer race then inner ring that is an inner race okay in between the in between the <clears throat> just i will show you so here this one is an outer race this one is an inner race and in between the rolling element okay this is called as a rolling element and this rolling element is uh, play an important role where uh, uh, when we consider about the uh, load carrying capacity of the bearing okay and this is uh, hold with the with the help of a uh, uh, retainer okay this is called as a retainer so jaha pe ye rolling element normally we are discussing about abhi to hum log rolling contact ball bearing ke bare mein discuss kar rahe hain so ball bearing mein kaise rehta hai ki rolling element jo rehta hai that is called as a ball okay and that is in spherical shape so that's why we are considering uh, calling as a ball theek hai aur jab retainer rehta hai to usme wo ball ko uh, acche se pakad leta hai because of it should not move its place okay that's why the main function of the retainer is provided over here and that retainer gives the a particular position to the ball okay so wo ball ka jo position rahega wo usko move nahi karne dega that is a basic function of retainer and about the corner radius yes it is uh, provided over the inner side as well as outer side uh, to avoid the notch function effect okay uh, then inner bore diameter jahan pe shaft mounting hoga that is a bore diameter 
देन जिस हाउसिंग में बेरिंग फिट होगा दैट इज आउटर डायमीटर ओके सो बेसिक और मेन कंपोनेंट ऑफ द एनी रोलिंग कॉन्टैक्ट बेरिंग आर फर्स्ट आउटर रेस सेकेंड इनर रेस थर्ड वन इज अ रोलिंग एलिमेंट एंड फोर्थ वन इज अपरेटर दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ रिटेनर ओके इन बिलो फिगर यू कैन प्रॉपरली लुक द डिसम्बल्ड डायग्राम ऑफ the rolling contact bearing okay the circlip is there then shield is there which can uh, shield uh, is providing uh, that the any foreign particle should not be entered in between these uh, rolling element where the friction get uh, occurred okay to in inke beech mein aaya to kya ho jayega then the wear could be occur to avoid this one we had to provide the shields okay so then inner inner ring is there uh, racing base is the uh, race base is there then uh, retainer or you can say cage then the rolling element that is a ball then outer ring and again the circle from the out, the the other side now what are the different type of loads which is carried by the a single rolling contact bearing okay so there are three types of loads which is generally uh, carried by a rolling contact bearing first one is purely radial load which is mount uh, which is from the radial direction towards the axis okay and it it, it having a directional angle अप टू जीरो डिग्री तो जो आउटर रेस है उस पर जो आने वाला लोड है टू वर्ड एक्सेस दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ प्योरली रेडियल लोड ओके नेक्स्ट वन प्योरली एक्सीएल लोड द लोड विच इज अप्लाइंग पैरल टू द एक्सेस दैट इज नथिंग बट इट्स अ नाइंटी डिग्री अपार्ट फ्रॉम द टॉप पोजिशन ओके एंड दैट इज इफ only single axial load is there then it is a pure axial load now next or third combination is the combination of both that is a radial as well as axial load okay and uh, whenever you are going to design or whenever you are going going to select any type of bearing you must has to uh, have to consider which type of the load is applying over the bearing okay based on that you have to choose a particular type of bearing now again i have redefined based on the uh, data that ball bearing is again uh, based on the uh, load applied load that is a uh, previously which uh, in previous slide which we have discussed that is a, a radial load axial load or combined load so based on that con condition i have re redefined the classification so in the ball bearing there is a radial bearing de bru ball bearing angular contact bearing and four point contact ball bearing which can use for uh, radial as well as uh, quite sim a small amount of axial okay so these all bearings we are discussing uh, in a deeply uh, in a further slides so about the rolling contact bearing again they are classified in a radial and thrust similarly okay so there is a for radial that is cylindrical needle tapered and spherical same is there thrust ke liye bhi same classification hai sirf only uh, difference in between that the applied load okay we'll discuss it so here again uh, based on the type of bearing uh, or you can say uh, load i have again similarly same classification is over here but it uh, gives some brief idea about the uh, if you look at the single row deep groove ball bearing so there is a only one row if you look out to the duplex angular contact bearing so there are two different 
uh, rows of the wall and they are placed in a particular angle okay so in a such manner they they uh, differentiate now we will discuss these previous or uh, whatever that we have discussed or we have seen the uh, type of bearings so pre uh, first of all we will discuss about the type of ball bearing then we will discuss the type of rolling contact bearing so first one is a single row uh, deep row ball bearing as in a figure you can see uh, the arrangement of the ball uh, bearing is or you can say a cross section cutting cross section is shown in the figure these type of uh, ball bearings are take maximum radial th radial load and small amount of thrust load okay and normally if both loads are there we are suggesting for deep groove ball bearing so it have a high radial load carrying capacity as well as few thrust load capacity that is a basic feature of this deep groove ball bearing normally uh, we uh, denoted in the short form as a dgbb okay so another one is second type is single row deep groove ball bearing with filling notch okay now what is the function of filling notch the because of that filling notch in the inner race and outer race uh, enables a great number of balls to be inserted thus it increases the radial load carrying capacity so isse kya ho jayega agar hum log filling notch dalte hain to if we are uh, it can increase the capacity to add more number of rolling uh, con, uh, rolling element that is called as a ball to agar hum log number of elements increase karte hain to automatically kya ho jayega कि अपना जो लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी है दैट इज अ रेडियल लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी ओके सो दैट रेडियल लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी गेट इंक्रीजेस बट इट हैव इज अ डिसएडवांटेज दैट द थ्रस्ट लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी इज डिक्रीज बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट बॉल आर गोइंग टू बंप ओके व्हेन वी आर फिलिंग द नॉच इनसाइड द स्लॉट ठीक है सो दैट इज अ डिसएडवांटेज अगर हम लोग रेडियल कैपेसिटी इंक्रीज करते हैं तो ऑटोमेटिकली इट विल डिक्रीजेस द थ्रस्ट लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी नाउ वी विल डिस्कस नेक्स्ट वन सो थर्ड वन इज अ एंगुलर कांटेक्ट बेरिंग सो इन अ डायग्राम दे हैव शोन द एंगुलर कांटेक्ट द बॉल इज प्लेस्ड इन अ पर्टिकुलर एंगल व्हेनेवर द लोड इज अप्लाइड दैट कैन बी गिव्स अ पर्टिकुलर एंगल और दैट द लोड इज अप्लाइड ओवर द बॉल विद अ पर्टिकुलर एंगल which is shown as in figure okay aap log agar previous arrangement se comparison karoge so ball is directly placed in between inner and outer race okay but here if you look at the inner and outer race okay so there is a few con uh, constructional differences there okay you should uh, observe in between two so here the slight curve is pro angle is provided so whenever the angular load is applied over the uh, uh, over the bearing okay so that is the angular direction from this direction the load get applied okay so in a normal it is totally flat and one okay only the whatever the shape is required that uh, area is uh, digging inside the inner and outer race but here the load is uh, if you look at the construction uh, you can uh, get uh, idea what should be the changes in between regular and angular contact bearing okay so it have a substantial thrust loading cap carrying capacity in one direction only in addition to the radial load carrying capacity so whenever how, uh, we are considering the angular bearing so it having high load carrying capacity theek hai radial load carrying capacity but in one directional if you consider that the axial load is there but it is in one directional to hum log ye wala bearing utilize kar sakte hain but if it is in a both direction we cannot use this type of bearing 
normally they are used in pair with uh, each taking a thrust in one direction so whatever the thrust load occurred due to the angular contact so normally they are using in a pair so the direction of the thrust if right one takes in a left hand direction thrust then uh, right one takes the left one okay so the thrust it can be uh, take positive and negative and it get eliminated next one type is shield bearing so in a previous you can see that in between inner and outer rest there is no shield provided over the bearing okay you just you can look at this area okay so here and here so in our uh, previous three bearing there is not provided any kind of shield if it is provided then it is a one type of uh, shield bearing so what is the function of shield uh, it may be provided uh, with the shield or you can say one side or both side so main function of the shield is it can totally enclose the bearing if it is provided in both side and which offers uh, which offer uh, the advantage that it will not pro entered uh, any kind of dirt from outside to the inner inner uh, area okay and they might be closed fitting with non rubbing element with a thin washer okay next type of bearing next one is a seal bearing okay now shield and shield there are two different uh, shield bearing uh, which we use that is somewhat closed but in few cases uh, the uh, material which is used is very low quality but in a sealed mat bearing material the quality of the sealing element is very high okay and it is completely enclosed the bearing and it provides the complete protection to the bearing okay but it has a disadvantage that they introduce some frictional drag okay and which is subjected to wear so side frictional drag is there because of the material is get high, is high quality next one is a self alignment bearing so it is very important that somewhat uh, due to some vibrational uh, or you can say whenever two shaft are getting, uh, getting engaged if they are not in proper position so some uh, angular displacement or you can say some misalignment should be there or you can say deflection is there so for in that condition we can use a single road dgbb okay but when the deflection is quite large it is not possible uh, to use a single row dgbb at that condition for self alignment bearings are very useful at that condition okay so figure showing the external self alignment as well as internal self alignment now next one the deep uh, double row deep groove ball bearing as we previously discussed the deep groove ball bearing can have, uh, carry radial load as well as thrust load whenever you using the, the deep, double row deep groove ball bearing they are good as place with the apply, uh, using two single deep groove ball bearing so iska matlab kya hai ki do ball bearing use karne se acha hai we can use for same capacity you can use single ball single bearing with respect to two single rod deep groove ball bearing theek hai do jagah pe hum log ye you single use kar sakte hain so similarly eight number uh, double raw angular contact bearing so replacing with the two uh, bearings we can use a single double raw deep groove ball bearing sorry single a double row angular contact bearing also it can increases the load carrying capacity 
one more uh, one more point we should to add that in a double if you are using double draw angular contact uh, bearing you can uh, take thrust load in a both direction if you are using single you have to uh, take a load in a only one direction so yahan pe hum log dono side ke bhi load carry kar sakte hai and thrust load you can say axial load last one in the segment of ball bearing that is a thrust ball bearing it is purely it can take purely axial or you can say thrust load okay so normally uh, where this type of bearings are uh, used in a fan ceiling fan so here only axial thrust or you can say uh, thrust load pure thrust load is occurred next is uh, types of rolling contact bearing so similarly with respect to the rolling uh, ball bearing we are uh, classified the different rolling contact bearing based on their features so first one cylindrical rolling roller bearing as the element is changed only because of that the name nomenclature and the name get changed but with respect to the shape the contact area is also get changed whenever you are considering the single uh, ball bearing whenever you are considering the ball bearing the contact in between rainer rays uh, with respect to the rotating element that is a ball is a point contact okay तो उसके वजह से क्या कि लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ बॉल बेरिंग इज लेस एज कंपेयर टू द रोलिंग बेरिंग बिकॉज हियर द कॉन्टेक्ट एरिया गेट इंक्रीज ओके सो हियर दादर देन पॉइंट कॉन्टेक्ट इट इज इन लाइन कॉन्टेक्ट सो दैट्स वाई एज द कॉन्टेक्ट एरिया गेट इंक्रीज द लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ द रोलिंग कॉन्टेक्ट बेरिंग आर गेट इंक्रीज ओके so in a cylindrical roller contact uh, roller bearing it have take high rigidity it have a high rigidity it can take it can uh, it can take only radial load it cannot take any axial or thrust load okay that is a basic disadvantage of the rolling contact uh, sorry cylindrical rolling roller bearing okay next one single row spherical roller bearing so constructional uh, changes if you look at the first one and second one the shape get quite changed thoda sa shape mein difference hai otherwise remaining is the same okay so because of that change in previously we are using a roller and here now we are using spherical roller okay so as the shape get changed the curvature portion is in uh, is provided over there so it increases the low radial load ca ca carrying capacity and it eliminates the previous disadvantage okay so now you can take a small amount of thrust load jo pehle cylindrical roller bearing mein jo disadvantage tha ki hum log thrust load नहीं ले पा रहे थे सो इन सिंगल रोस्पेरिकल रोलर बेरिंग दैट एडवांटेज गेट इलेमिनेटेड तो हम लोग स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ थ्रस्ट लोड भी कैरी कर सकते हैं नाउ नेक्स्ट वन डबल रोस्पेरिकल रोलर बेरिंग ओके सो इन दस इन दिस कंडीशन वी आर इंक्रीजिंग लो थ्रस्ट लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी बाय थर्टी परसेंट of radial load carrying capacity iska matlab kya hai if you are you uh, if your uh, radial loading carrying capacity radial load carrying capacity is 30 newton then your axial load carrying capacity is 10 newton to aap log agar 30 newton ka load radially apply kar rahe ho then you can eligible by using this double row spherical roller bearing you can eligible to take a thrust load up to the 10 newton okay now next one uh, next uh, uh, type of bearing is spherical roller thrust bearing okay so here 
it is uh, you can uh, look at the arrangement of the bearing in previous one and this one the angular uh, angular uh, arrangement of the spherical roller get changed parallel to the axis here it is provided a particular angle with respect to the uh, spherical axis and uh, spear axis and the shaft axis okay so because of that it it these uh, rollers are enable to carry the high thrust load in only one direction okay so both direction do pair hum log use karenge kiske liye so it can eliminate the reactions okay next one taper roller bearing okay so it is uh, the construction of the taper roller bearing is quite small uh, similar to that of previous one so it consists of a rolling element that have a fustum shape of cone uh, it can carry high radial roll as well as thrust loads it can take only one direction thrust load hence it should be used in pair okay so both the directional or whatever the reaction leftward or rightward or you can say positive or negative if we need to eliminate that reaction you have to use two or you can say pair of the taper uh, rolling bearing next one needle uh, now here the element in between the rotating element is get changed here the uh, the sphere with the minimum radius and the length get increase so its ka matlab kya hai bearing ka size increase ho gaya so whenever the radial space is a main criteria jahan pe radial space ka construction uh, constraint hai at that condition we are using needle roller bearing okay it can having high radial uh, radial load carrying capacity last one uh, in the segment of a roller bearing is taper roller thrust bearing okay so here also uh, with respect to the uh, bearing uh, ball bearing it is purely this bearing is take purely axial or you can say thrust load with respect to the ball bearing it can take high thrust load okay so its load carrying capacity with respect to the ball bearing uh iska zada hai okay so in a diagram you can show the uh, constructional or you can say uh, nomenclatures of different components that uh, the angle taper rolling bearing ka jaise contact angle hai uh, then standard stand out hai taper roller kaise uh, mount kiya hai then whatever the uh, how we can say the outer ring back face okay so whatever the different nomenclatures are that is mentioned in the figure okay now the basic comparison in between uh, ball bearing and rolling contact bearing based on the parameters if you consider a rolling element in a ball bearing there is a spear or you can say spherical ball uh, which is used as a rolling element but in a roller contact there are cylinders spherical rollers needle then taper taper rollers so these are the various uh, a very a variety is available in a rolling contact bearing as compared to the ball bearing the nature of contact as we previously discussed the nature in contact in between inner rest ball is point contact uh, in between a rolling bearing it is a line contact with the same specification the load carrying capacity of the ball bearing is quite low as compared to the rolling uh, rolling contact bearing about the radial dimensions yes uh, the ball bearing having more radial dimension as compared to the rolling contact bearing about the axial dimensions the rolling com, uh, rolling contact bearing has more uh, or high dimensions as compared to the ball bearing 
so now we will discuss uh, with respect to the applications so in this uh, lecture we are uh, concentrating over the rolling contact bearing so we are considering uh, based on the uh, constructional details now we are discussing about the applications so basic applications are industrial or automotive gear boxes then electrical motor then a machine tool spindle small size uh, centrifugal pump then automobile front and rear axles so normally where the high speed condition is there at that condition you are using a rolling contact bearing as compared to the sliding contact bearing तो जहां पे ज्यादा स्पीड यूज किया जाता है और जहां पे रोटेशनल फोर्सेस और यू कैन से सेंट्रिफुगल फोर्स इज मोर एट दैट कंडीशन यू आर यूजिंग और यू कैन से रोटेटिंग आरपीएम रिवॉल्यूशन परमिट इज मिनट्स आर मोर एट दैट एप्लीकेशन यू हैव टू यूज अ रोलिंग कांटेक्ट बेरिंग नाउ हाउ टू चूज और हाउ टू नॉमिन क्लेट और यू कैन से डेजिग्नेट अ एनी रोलिंग कांटेक्ट बेरिंग okay so there are uh, various uh, designations are available in the market okay so based on the designation how you can choose any uh, bearing theek hai to agar aapko bearing ka ek naam diya gaya theek hai so aise diya gaya 6035 okay 603 uh, you can say sorry 6002 अगर ऐसा अगर बेरिंग का आपको नॉम क्लेचर और डेजिग्नेशन दिया गया सो हाउ यू कैन इंटरप्रेट बेसिक बोर साइज एज वेल एज टाइप ऑफ बेरिंग एंड एज वेल एज विच टाइप ऑफ लोड कैरिंग सीरीज ऑफ दैट बेरिंग ओके मतलब वो बेरिंग कितना लोड कैरी कर सकता है ओके सो नॉर्मली देर आर फोर डिजिट और फाइव डिजिट ओके बेस्ड ऑन द डिजिट यू कैन फाइंड आउट द Uh, designation and the property of basic properties of the bearing okay so first of all we will discuss with the four digit uh, bearing number so I, as uh, i mentioned previously 6002 as our bearing number rahega so first number that is a 6 so it indicates the bearing type okay which provide the information about the type of bearing now in that category or uh, at that position if it is a 6 then it is a deep revolve bearing if it is 2 then self aligned bearing if it is 3 then double raw angular contact bearing if the series is 30 31 32 then it is a taper roller bearing if at the start it is in nu2 it's a cylindrical roller bearing okay so it provides the type of bearing or you can say which type of uh, bearing we are using so it indicates with the first letter in second letter second letter provides the series of bearing so uh, if zero is there the load carrying capacity is extra light then two is there then light if three is there then medium and if four is there then it can carry a heavy load so if you combine those it will give the type of bearing as well as load carrying capacity if i say 60 then deep groove ball bearing with extra light load carrying capacity if i say 64 then 64 then the deep groove ball bearing with high load carrying capacity okay so similarly it interprets and about the last two digits if in last two digits or you can say third and fourth digit zero uh, zero is there then the bore diameter are fixed that is a 10 mm if zero one is there then 12 mm then zero three is there then 15 mm if zero sorry zero two is there then 15 mm zero three is there then 17 mm if as the number onwards from zero four to n then it should to multiplied with the 5 okay so agar 04 rahega to multiplied with the 5 you can get a bore diameter so that is nothing but 5 multiply by 4 that is a 20 mm theek hai agar last two digits agar 10 rahenge to bore diameter kitna aayega that is a 
10 multiplied by 5 is equal to 50 mm okay so based on the designation you should find out the type of bearing you should know the loading capacity and you should know the basic bore size okay so whenever you are choosing the type of bearing you must have to understood the these parameters of the bearing now whenever you are going to select any type of bearing so you should have to uh, select bearing based on the uh, particular factors okay so there are various factors are available first one is a uh, there are seven factors which i have uh, seen that we that can affect the selection criteria of the bearing so first one is a load as we know that uh, there are three types of load which we have already discussed pure radial pure axial and combined load okay which we have considered that is a radial and thrust load if it is a pure uh, radial load is there then a deep curve ball bearing uh, or you can cylindrical roller bearing are normally used if the load uh, acting on the bearing is a combined one then the radial uh, that is nothing but a radial and thrust load then deep groove ball bearing and the angular contact bearing or taper uh, roller bearing are mostly preferable if the load carrying uh, or load acting over the bearing are a thrust load or you can say axial load then the taper roller thrust bearing and spherical roller thrust bearing are mostly preferable okay so based on the uh, type i have just uh, mentioned the whichever the uh, normal or general bearing which we can use now second one the common of radial and thrust load as previously we discussed if high radial load and moderate thrust load is there we are using deep groove ball bearing if the higher radial load and moderate matlab mini medium thrust load rahega, then you are using angular contact bearing if radial load is high as well as thrust load is high then you have to use taper rolling uh, roller bearing okay so based on the combination of the or you can say variation in a radial as well as thrust load third one is a magnitude of load okay so about the magnitude you can say bearing is subjected to low and medium load then normally we are using ball bearing if bearing is subjected to heavy load then we have to use roller contact uh, roller bearing next one the alignment of shaft with respect to the housing as we uh, previously discussed that if it is properly aligned you can use all type of bearings but somewhat misalignment is there which is a huge misalignment then you have to use self aligned bearing, uh, aligned bearings or you can say spherical roller contact bearings if fifth point rigidity of the system uh, in certain application uh, for example uh, machine tool spindle then uh, deflection of uh, spindle which can be introduced because of that deflection it can be introduced some error okay and it is necessary that the bearing should be that much rigid rigid or you can say it have that much strength which can absorb that vibration or you can say uh, it can easily absorb that variation in the load because whenever it deflects the pure radial load also converted into certain amount of thrust load okay so that variation should be easily sustained by the bearing okay so that's for that reason we need to high rigid bearing system next one operating speed first of all uh, normally we are using the rolling contact bearing uh, for a high speed application uh, if the high speed application is there then uh, then deep brew ball bearing you can say cylindrical roll bearing and the angular contact bearings are mostly preferable 
next point about the compactness if the space criteria is there in which direction in axial direction if the space criteria is there then you are prefer the ball, uh, ball contact bearings or ball bearings if the space construct constraint in the radial direction then you should go for needle roller bearing okay so we have discussed the different type of bearing then uh, type of load then what are the basic factor which is uh, affect over the selection of the bearing okay so we have discussed uh, this one now in like next lecture uh, or uh, we will discuss about the basic capacities then forces then the basic applications okay